Hello, everybody. This is Fred Eckert with Chicago Title. Um, I want to stress this, that I'm not an attorney. I'm not representing Chicago Title. However, I am telling you this. There is a new tax that's going to be um, imposed starting in 2013 that I call the stealth tax because a lot of people don't know about this. It was passed in conjunction with the health care bill. It is called H.R. 4872. You can look that up if you Google it, H.R. 4872. There's also some great information at Realtor.org. If you go to that site, uh, Realtor.org, put in 3.8% in the search box and take a look what's there. Now, here's what this is. Um, this is to pay for health care. Um, and it's supposed to be against high-income earners, 200000 or 250000 adjusted gross income. Well, here's the problem with that. Um, let's say you sell a house. Uh, a rental house because this is dividends and interest and rental income and royalties and capital gains and that's going to include sales of stocks and sales of houses. So let's say you sold a stock, you sold a house and you're going to take that income that uh, particularly that you couldn't have the exclusion on, you're going to add it to your income for that year. So if you're making 100000 but you've added $350,000 of capital gains to it, you're going to be paying, now you have 450000 350000 plus 100000 you subtract say 200000 from that as a single person and you're going to be paying tax on the difference between that. And that's in addition to the current 15% long-term capital gains. So I want you to be aware of this tax. Um, I'm going to put some links that are in the video in here that you can uh, remind you of where to go to get this information. Uh, if it was me, I'd contact my congressperson and ask why, if this is such a great tax, why isn't it, wasn't it in effect from 2010 when it was passed? It's being, in my opinion, kind of hidden. A lot of people don't know about it. I think it's going to particularly impact the elderly which is my biggest concern because a lot of them will need to sell property. It's their largest asset for long-term care or health reasons. And I think they're going to be very surprised when they sell that property and have to add that capital gains that they can't exclude, the portion that they can't exclude, to their income for that year. So be aware of this. Get this word out to as many people as you can. Um, and if for planning purposes, there might be some people that need to sell a property prior to 2013. I've been questioning this uh, from a number of people and said, well, what happens if the health care bill is overturned? Well, here's the problem with that. Uh, the current uh, questioning of the health care bill is about the constitutionality of the mandate that everybody have health care. The courts already said that if they rule against that and say it's unconstitutional, that will not change other provisions of the law, and some of those are already in effect. So uh, take my advice and uh, get to know about this law. Take a look at what I've sent you here. If you have questions or comments, contact me. Uh, my email and my phone number are going to be provided at the end of this. And by the way, uh, we do title insurance and we do escrow. That's why I'm giving this information out because when you have to sell one of these places, you're going to be needing title and escrow so you'll know who to come to. You take care. Make it a great day. I'm sorry about the nature of this information, but it's extremely, extremely important. Make it a great day.